The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Welcome to Dose of Deanne, where you'll get a little shot of what my life is like living with SMA. As the temperature drops, there's nothing like warm comfort food to boost your spirits, but it can be kind of hard to make. A while back, a columnist of ours, Halsey, wrote an article about crock pot cooking. She mentioned how easy it is and how good the food is. I happen to agree. That's why when I stumbled on a website that had 10 crock pot meals that you can throw in the freezer, I had to try it out. So after a quick word from our sponsor, I'll let you know how it went. This vlog was made possible by a sponsorship from Avexis, a company dedicated to developing and commercializing gene therapies for patients and families devastated by rare and life-threatening neurological genetic diseases. To learn more about a treatment for spinal muscular atrophy, visit treatsma.com. That's treatsma.com. It's where you will discover how this treatment works, hear about family stories, and learn about the steps to starting treatment. Visit treatsma.com today. Disclaimer, I do have a feeding tube, but I do cheat on occasion. And I'm very conscious about what I cheat with. I like things that are soft and that I can chew easily. So I feel comfortable cheating with this type of food. Crock pots make food very tender. But just follow what you eat. And if you don't eat, this is still a good way to participate in cooking for your family. I stumbled on the website eatingonadime.com and they have a list of 10 crock pot freezer meals that you can make and have on hand whenever you want. I thought it'd be really fun to do because I go to my mom's on the weekends and it'd be a lot easier just to throw something in the crock pot and not have to think about cooking. Even though we haven't had a chance to try them all yet, every one that we have tried has been really good. I think my favorite has to be the smothered pork chop so far. What I loved is they had a list of all the ingredients. So when I was at home at my mom's, we looked through the kitchen to see what we had and made a list of what we didn't. We just got back from our Walmart pickup. It was so slick, I'll have to tell you about it. But we're going to unpack our groceries so we can get our meals going. We decided to do grocery pickup. It's a free service that's available in our area where you put the order in and then you go pick it up and they bring it right to your car. That's really convenient so we don't have to get out of the car and go shopping. But if you can't do that, there are places that do grocery delivery as well. Our groceries are all unpacked and we're ready to go. We're going to start with the honey pork tenderloin. Here's our modified bag holder so we can just whip out those meals. You can purchase the bag holders from Amazon. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but this worked for us. We're well on our way to our 10 crockpot meals. I wasn't able to record the process of making the recipes because I had the recipes on my phone and I was reading them to my mom while she put them together. I didn't have my video glasses yet so I couldn't record that process. But it went really smoothly and it took probably a little over an hour to put everything together and so 10 meals are ready in about an hour. We're trying our first recipe. It's called smothered pork chops. And I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I like to mix everything together because it uh, makes it easier to use my, what I call the catapult method, which is this. It's pretty tender and has good flavor. So I'll give this one a thumbs up. Roy is under the table waiting for me to drop some, but I don't think I will be. <laughs> My Go Vision glasses arrived, so we got to try them out when we made the second recipe, chicken pot pie. We had to prep the potatoes and make biscuits and then threw the chicken pot pie in the crock pot. It was easy peasy and tasted delicious. 
The potatoes going into the crock pot. <laughs> we decided to try the chicken pot pie. And there we have it. And here it is. We added some noodles because there was so much liquid. So we made our biscuits earlier. Do you want to see inside the kettle? Mom's trying to hide the carrot because I don't like carrots. It doesn't really look yummy. Now we get to go eat. See, look at look that. Don't even need a knife. Oh, you don't. Pretty tender. One of the reasons crock pot meals are so great is because when you have things going on, you can just throw something in the crock pot and forget about it. Today we're trying, I think it was shredded beef tacos. So let's take a look and it's directly in the crock pot from the freezer and we just set it and forget it. Well the roast just came out of the crock pot and so we're shredding it up and then we're gonna stick it back in for a few minutes. I have my handy dandy bib on. It's kind of an adult size bib that my cousin made for me because she knows I'm a messy eater and the, these tacos definitely call for a bib. They're a little tricky for me to eat because I have trouble lifting it up to my mouth. But since it's so good, I attempt it anyway. Pretty good. Another thumbs up for this crock pot meal. So far we've tried four of the ten recipes and every one of them has been outstanding. We'll put a link to the recipes below. And if you try them out, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you have any recipes to share, head on over to our forums and leave them there. I'd love to try new recipes. smanewstoday.com slash forums. We'd love to have you join us. That's all I have for you today, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.